I wasn't raised in a Christian home. Even though my mother was the most wonderful person, loving and caring, we were unbelievers. I got married at 19, and about three years after being married, that I started having this dream. In this dream, I was on this white horse, and I, I would have a lariat rope, and I would be going down these hallways where there would be doors on the right, doors on the left, and, and I would clearly hear elderly people crying out for help. I would kick those doors open, and, and they would be hanging on to this uh, ledge, fixing to fall into this fiery pit. My natural response was to rope them and lash my rope onto them and, and pull them out of the fiery pit. And often I would suffer from the burns, the smells, the fear. I was in that with them. What I uh, found you know, to come to be is the very last dream that I had, uh, my rope was breaking as I was rescuing somebody. And I, I went to this deep part in my soul and cried out for help, had a flashing light, and a picture of Jesus. That woke me up once again after a dream, which is my last one I ever had. And I went and I got my dad's old Bible that I'd kept, he had passed away previously. And I opened it up for the first time in my life and went to John chapter three and just started reading. And it was there within a, just a quick amount of time that Jesus is talking to Nicodemus and tells him must be born again. And I get on my knees and I give my life to Christ. I start looking for answers, so I start trying to find some people that I know and I, I, my head football coach. And I found out now he was a pastor. So I track him down and he takes me down a journey of mentoring me. And he has to go visit one of his people uh, at a nursing home. We go, we visit. I'm walking down the hallways and all of a sudden I realize my goodness, this is where I was in the dream. These are the halls. These are the people. That started this journey where, where I raised my hand, volunteered at that particular home uh, to just come and love on the people and be a part of their life, learn their stories. 